Welcome to another episode, and dare I say, a delightful one at that. So, before you go any further, hit that subscribe button because it's really going to help this channel grow and build this musical community. Now, important things to remember here, A natural minor, no sharps and flats, so this one's a breeze. And it basically even goes in alphabetical order as well. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and back to A again. So, there's not a great deal to remember. As long as you can do the alphabet, you'll be fine. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and you're back again. So, very important this one. Nice and easy. Now, there's a couple of things you can uh, do, and this is a little technique that really does help you jump around a little bit of the fretboard, which is the whole step, half step technique. You might have known it as tone, tone, semitone, and all that sort of stuff as well. And it goes like this. Note, whole note, half note, whole note, whole note, half note, whole note, whole note. And you can take that technique and move it all around the fretboard and you get the same result basically and it will give you the natural minor scale. Now I say this to everyone, don't just rely on these techniques because learning these scales is so, so important and it's going to help you get through all your musical needs. So basically uh, learn them but these techniques are really handy especially if you just kind of are halfway through learning something and you need the key or anything like that, they're very, very handy to have. But don't just learn that whole step, half step technique and then think I don't need to learn anything else. You really do if you're going to learn theory properly. So please, please, please keep plowing on with it because it's going to make such a difference. But that does help, especially if you're trying to work things out. Now, let's jump in and um, have a look at the uh, fretboard. A natural minor. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. E5, E7, E8, a5, A7, A8, D5, D7. Okay, so I hope you found that useful in some way, shape or form. I'll say it once, I'll say it again please subscribe, it really helps this channel grow and it helps build this community of musicians wanting to learn, let's share techniques, let's talk about these things. So let's have a look at what we've uh, covered. Basically, A natural minor scale has no sharps or flats in it. So that's super important to remember and it's a very easy thing to remember. No sharps or flats, it's gotta be A natural minor, which means that uh, its relative major is C major, and there is an episode on that, so jump and have a look at that one as well, if you kind of want to bring the two things together. But um, yep, have a look at that as well. Relative major is C major for this scale. As I said before, no sharps, no flats in this scale, and the nice thing about it is it's, it's A to G, basically. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then of course, back to the off, uh, octave again, which makes it A. So we start the scale again. Now, apart from that, that's all you've got to remember for this scale, really. Uh, and oh, don't forget that whole step, half step technique as well. So again, I'll say it once, I'll say it again. I'll see you in the next episode. I've been Ben. Please subscribe to this channel. It's really going to help it grow. Um, let's build this musical community. So um, I will see you in the next episode.